Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're having a look at what appears at first instance to be a problem with the Pathfinder tool, but I think it's actually to do with the document appearance or a line appearance. So let's have a look and see. This came about as the result of a video that I did recently about dividing a circle into lots of component pieces. And somebody pointed out that you could do this using the Pathfinder tool. And when I went to look at it, I was getting a lot of failure, but I was also getting a lot of success and it didn't seem to be clear as to what was being successful and what was being a failure. But I've worked out how to solve the problem. I can't explain why Illustrator is working this way, but I do have a solution. So I have two circles here just drawn using the ellipse tool. Now on the first one here, I'm going to draw a dividing line using the line tool. You can see this is the line segment tool. I'm going to hold the shift key as I do it. There's my line. Now the second one over here, I'm going to draw my line but using the pen tool. So I'm going to click at the top and then shift click at the bottom. I need to press escape to stop this rubber band approach. So I've got two circles, each with a dividing line. One of them is a line. This one is a line and this one over here is a path. So let's just go and select over this and try the pathfinder and it fails. And we're going to do it over here, Pathfinder, and it fails. Okay, let's just undo that for a minute because I want to come back to that in a minute. I'm going to create a brand new file and do the same thing over again, but this time I'm going to do them in the reverse order. As stupid as this sounds, it's going to work. So, Pen Tool, because last time I used the Line Tool first. Pen Tool, press Escape. Now the second one is going to be drawn using the line. Okay, so let's open up the last panel. This is a path using the pen tool. This is a line using a line tool. They were drawn in a different order. When I use the Pathfinder Divide option on this one, it divides. When I use Pathfinder Divide on this one, it divides. So what's causing this? The exact same document, but just the order in which I created these lines, one as a path and one as a line, the order impacts the effect of the pathfinder. So let's just go back to this one, which was the one that failed on all counts. Let's just prove that it's failing and it's still failing. And here it is, it's failing. Okay, let's undo that. So let's have a look again at the lines here. So this is a line drawn using the line tool because it was drawn first, the whole thing's failed. This is a line, but it's drawn using the pen tool. So it's a path. And because it was drawn second, it also fails. But if we draw it first, it would work. So let's just go and grab this thing. And I'm going to the appearance panel, which you can get to by choosing window and appearance. And if I click the fly out menu, you'll see here that there are options available, which is clear appearance. In other words, there is some appearance on this shape and reduced basic appearance, which is suggesting it is not a basic appearance. So what I'm going to do is clear appearance. So I'm just removing anything that was attached to this line. So it now has no stroke and no fill, but I'd like it to have a stroke. So let's just click on it and give it a black stroke. So it looks exactly the same as it was previously, but it's different. Let's go and do the same thing over here. Select it, appearance. Go to the fly out. Now we don't have a reduced basic appearance for this, but we do have a clear appearance. So let's clear it and let's go back and give it a black line. So again, it looks the same as it did previously, but it is something completely different. Let's select over this. Let's go to the Pathfinder and this time divide works just fine. And so does divide work on this one. So the problem appears to be a combination of the order in which you draw these. So if you use the line tool it appears not to work, but the pen tool works if it's the first thing drawn, but not the second. But in each case, just removing that appearance seems to solve the problem. So I have no answer for this. Adobe, if you're watching this, maybe you can come up with an answer and explain why it's working like this. I do know that we have had problems with appearances sticking to shapes since uh, Illustrator, I think it was 2018. 
Things started to fail that had been working previously. For example, a no fill, no stroke rectangle. So a rectangle that had no fill and no stroke when you used it for a pattern sometimes didn't work as a pattern bounding box. And the reason for that was again to do with this appearance. Once you cleared the appearance, it worked just fine. So something is happening to the appearance of lines and paths that is not visible on the screen but is affecting things like how the Pathfinder works. So there there is the explanation, there's a solution, there is an example of the problem and oh my goodness if the order in which you draw something has an impact on how the Pathfinder works then I think that's a bug and that's not a feature and it's not very explicable. So I hope that helps you if you've been encountering difficulties like this. And now you know how you can solve them. You also know that there are problems potentially with appearances in Illustrator post 2018 that you might need to have a look out for and that you can change the appearance of anything by just going to the appearance panel, clicking the fly out and just clear the appearance and put back in what bits you want and quite often that will solve your problem. If you like carefully researched content like this clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.